guys, Mario Gam here with Matt Fantastic. The one and only. The Xbox Live. Live. That's right, everyone. Welcome to another Jam Core Review Show where we unbox and review the things Thank that you, you love. love. And on today's epic episode, we do the Loot Crate the the Xbox. Xbox. That's right, for the month of November. And the theme is Unite 2.0. And if you have not been exposed to Loot Crate DX, it's basically like the core box times a million. You get some really cool collectibles, some awesome statues like Deadpool right here. And Batman. That's right. Batman. That is epic. Without further ado, you guys ready to get inside the box? Yes. Who's going to do the first item? Epic. All right, Mikey, what are you going to get? Ooh, this is a good one, guys. What is it? It is, let me see, let me read it. It is, okay, it's another vinyl figure. Loot Crate has been upping its game with the vinyl figures, and this is from Loot Crate and Joe Bot. Joey Spioto created his first high fidelity art piece in 2010 for a gallery show. So this is based off of uh, illustrated art turned into a toy. All right, let's go ahead and rip this bad boy apart. Ooh. Oh. oh, that is awesome. This is freaking cool. Oh, and it rips. Oh, that is cool. That is pretty cool. So I do like the poppy type of art, not to be confused with Funko Pop, but this is really, really cool. Of course, you have Willow here, you have Spike, and you have Buffy, which is the main protagonist. That's right. What do you guys think of the, the colors? Uh, I think it's awesome. And that, that kind of looks like the vampire. He is a vampire. He is? Yeah, he's a vampire. That is fantastic, right? And if I remember correctly, Willow was a witch and Buffy was the vampire star. She was a vampire hunter. It's a really good show. I wish, you know what? We should start watching. I think you guys would really enjoy it. What do you think of the toy? I like it and I like the orange hair in it. Mm -hmm. It's very um, colorful, huh? Yeah. yeah, it kind of looks like Chucky a little bit. Hey, it kind of does look like Chucky. That's a good observation, guys. That is fantastic. My favorite part is the wooden stake and the zombie hand. That's awesome. That is fantastic. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the apparel. There's an apparel in here. Yep. The theme is Unite, and that usually means when teams form up, you know, positively or negatively. You could have villains. A group of supervillains or a group of superheroes. In this case, it's a, it's a group of friends. But here, here we have a Justice League item. Oh. That is fantastic. Ooh, it's a long sleeve. Wow. Okay, so first let me start off by talking about the quality. This is a good quality shirt, but it's going to be a bummer for me in terms of the design. From up close, I could see that it's the uh, Justice League. You have Wonder Woman, uh, oh. you have Aquaman, Superman, Cyborg, The Flash, and of course, one of my favorites, Batman. But from a distance, you can't really see. You can't really see that. To compare, this is a shirt from a competitor's box. I won't name the name of the company out of respect to Loot Crate, but this is a highly detailed shirt, and this is not. You can't really see the detail. But you guys could see it up close. What do you guys think? I think it's legendary, and I like how the Flash looks, and mm -hmm. Superman. It's almost what? like if they're all looking into the future or, or into the, the great beyond, like if they just want something, right? And we have not seen the Justice League. We are going to see that this week, and uh, mixed reviews, but yeah. these kids are biased. They're going to love it regardless because they're DC kids. Wait. So, what happened? Is Superman going to be in the movie? Uh, maybe. Because... Well, I can tell you this much. He died. Well, he is, he is coming back, but maybe not the way you think he is. He might come back in a different costume. Spoiler alert. Not really, not really. Cool, let's go ahead and grab. Oh, this oh. is interesting. What is it? Is it slippers? No, it's, I don't know. Rip it open here, let me help you out. Oh, okay, I'll use my muscles. You mean like Hulk? Duh. All right. Oh, I think it's a scarf. Okay, so it is a cat dog scarf. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Now, as you may have known, stores like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, and even Forever 21 have been coming back with the 90s resurgence. Yeah. Everything is cool from the 90s again, like everything from Nickelodeon, and I am in heaven. I freaking love the 90s. I still dress like I'm in the 90s. I still listen to music from the 90s. What do you think of this? Uh, it's a bit too long. Uh-huh, but and it's warm. Yeah. How is this United? 
That's a good question. That's a good question. How is this united? I'm going to agree with you in a sense that unity or the ability to unite is when you have two of the same forces coming together or two of the opposing forces coming together for either the greater good or, like I said earlier, to be villainous. But it's two different ideologies coming together to move forward. Cat dog, they're already together. They were born together, so there's not much unity there, in my opinion. But I guess it's uh, pretty cool. Kind of missed the mark in this box, especially for a DX box, in my opinion. So we have a few more items in here, which is kind of making me nervous. Flash Tastic, you expressed interest in this. Go ahead, buddy. This, oh, yeah, it's no. not it's not a comic book. I thought it was a comic book. Here, let me open oh it up for you. God. And I have an idea for this. I think I'm gonna frame each one, but it forms one picture. So, what do you think, buddy? I think it's wow. awesome. Yeah, do you recognize some of the characters? I recognize a lot. Yeah. You recognize a lot? Uh, yes. I know. Okay. Arrow, Robin, um... Cyborg, Falcon. Oh yeah. Catwoman. Katana, Superman, uh -huh. Superman, Flash, Batman. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Cyborg. Cyborg. Who the heck is this guy? Uh, oh, that's Firestorm. Storm. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Constantine. He even he made it. That's freaking cool. So, what do you, what do you think, uh, Flash Tastic, of the, of the colors? I really like it, but what I want to know is that what are they doing? What are they doing? That's a good question. That is a very good question. It seems like they all united to uh, take out something bigger than what they are. What do you think of the overall design element? I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. And I like the detail on all of them. Mm -hmm. It kind of gives it like a comic style. All right, Marty, oh. go ahead and take it away. That is fantastic. What is it? You have two lightning bolts clashing together. Maybe Making a big one. I that's think right. that's Flash or my Morphin. Mighty Morphin or Flash? Yeah, that's a good uh, description of that. That's pretty cool. Here, let me help you out with this real quick. Whoa, there's a lot. That, well, there's four pin backings, but there's two pins, and then here you go. And this is pretty cool. This reminds me of a really cool, cheesy, kung fu type of like post-apocalyptic movie. Here, go ahead. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Put them together. Double Dragon! That reminds me of Double Dragon. Ooh. I freaking love that movie. Super cheesy, horrible graphics, but Scott Wolf is awesome. That is fantastic. What do you guys think of that? I think it's legendary. Well, that's cool. So you're going to get a pin and you're going to get a pin. Okay? And whenever you feel like you're in trouble, just combine them and do some kung fu. So that's pretty much it for the box. There are some coupons in here. Uh, one of the coupons is for a 10% off uh, loot crate. And we'll go ahead and put it up here, Holiday Hero. So you could go ahead and save 10% on a core box, which is freaking fantastic. It's a great gift idea. Honestly, what do you think of this box? I didn't like it that much uh -huh. because usually the Xboxes mm -hmm. are like that big. Yeah. And they have mm -hmm. more stuff. Yeah, more value, right? Yes. What about you? Um, I don't like it that much because I even don't like this. This, this is kind of weird, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, so what do you get this box? Three out of five. What about you? Three out of five. Uh, three out of five? I would go ahead and give this box a three and a three half, half out of five, but yeah. it averages out to about three out of five, which it's going to be the lowest scoring DX box in the history of our review show. And that's a bummer because usually this box has a lot of <gasps> worth in it. You can see in our past videos, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. And I don't think that this box justifies a nearly $60 cover charge. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a three out of five. Okay. What should we use as a means of greeting? The vinyl figure? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give this three out of five vinyl figures. You guys ready? Yeah. One, One two, two, three, three. Uh, out of five. five. It's kind of sad when you put it into perspective, there was only three. Remember, you might love this box, and if you do, power to you, but we can't lie to you and give this a higher score than what it is just because we love Loot Crate. It doesn't work like that. So, you have anything awesome to say to these awesome people out here, YouTube? Yeah. Go ahead. Don't forget to like, super subscribe, and don't forget to comment below. That's right, everyone. Go ahead and super smash that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you know when we upload a video. And thank you for your awesome support. You guys are fantastic. You guys ready to disappear? Yeah. All right, in three, two, and...